Hello and welcome back to Good Chicken Teaching Resources. Today we're going to talk about and go over the stages of plot. So before we begin, if you want a document to take notes on, you can go down to this description and we have a link to a note page below. All right, so a plot is a series of events in a story and it typically includes five stages of development. Without a plot, you do not have a story. The plot is just the things that occur. So we're going to go through the stages and while we're going through the stages, I'm going to tell you a little story. The first stage of plot is the exposition. So here's the beginning of our little story. You were at the local amusement park with your friends and the, the big brand new roller coaster has opened up and they want to go on it, but you don't want to because you're scared. But because your friends want to, you're waiting in line thinking about how much you don't want to ride this roller coaster. Well, that would be the exposition. The exposition introduces the setting and the characters. So the amusement park, you and your friends, and the conflict for the story. You're about to go on this roller coaster that you really don't want to go on, that you're afraid to go on. That's our conflict. All right. So then the next stage is the rising action. The rising action introduces obstacles that make the conflict more complicated and it builds suspense. It's where the plot thickens. So this is you and your friends are on the ro roller coaster and you're going up that hill and you're hearing that click, click, click sound as you're creeping up the hill and things are getting higher and higher and that knot in your stomach is just getting more and more intense and you know you're on this ride and there's no way you can get off but you really want to that's the rising action of our story next you have the climax the climax is the turning point in the story and the moment of greatest suspense this is when the conflict and drama is at its most intense. So this is the most exciting part of the story. So think about it. What's the most important, exciting part of a roller coaster? Well, it's that moment when you get to the very top of the hill and you feel weightless and you kind of come out of your seat right before the drop. So that's the climax of our story. Next is the falling action. This reveals the outcome of the story's climax that eases the tension and shows how the main character resolves the conflict. So this is you going through the rest of the ride. All the rest of the ups and downs and the spins and it's the parts of the ride and the rest of the ride. And finally is the resolution. It reveals the story's final act outcome and ties up any loose ends. So this is when you and your friends get off the roller coaster and you realize you had a really fun time and you're ready to get in line and do it again. So that's a quick summary of the five stages of plot. Going back, looking at our plot diagram again and how it's set up. Now, the part of the story that's going to take the longest in a book is typically the rising action because this is when everything drags, drags out. And if you think about it, it's the same way on a roller coaster because going up that first hill is oftentimes the longest part of the ride. Once you start falling, the ride is over pretty quick. So the, once you get to the climax and everything starts falling in place, the story ends and it's pretty much done. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, please subscribe to make sure you get more from us at Good Chicken Teaching Resources. And remember, you can find us at Facebook, Pinterest, Teachers Pay Teachers, and we have a blog on Blogger.